We're going to create a Google Doc today and I just want to go through all the formatting that is required here at MacArthur. Uh, first thing we should always do is give it a title. So I'm going to do an example of a summer vacation paragraph. Okay. And here is our checklist. Heading, title, text, double spacing, picture if it's required, spell checking, and one page if for my class. We'll talk more about that later. So let's start out with the heading. Name, date, and period on the right side of your paper, single spaced, size 12. Right now the cursor is on the left hand side and we could do space, space, space all the way across. We could hit tab a bunch of times, but the easiest way and the quickest way is to go up here um, if it, and find the alignment tools. Now, if you're on a Chromebook, uh, they may not be showing here until you click on more. When you click more, you get all these things. This aligns things on the left side. This centers things like your title. And this one aligns things on the right, like your name, date, and period. So I'm going to click here, type in my name, press enter, it goes down to the next line, put the date. I'll just put in a, the word date for today. And then period. Now this is going to sound a little weird, but people do all kinds of weird things here. Um, the best way I prefer is to type out period. Okay, That's the best way. Now if you want to abbreviate, that's fine, but if you abbreviate PER, that's not a word, it's an abbreviation, and it needs a period after it. And a space, there's always a space after a period, no matter what, always. Okay, So if you want to do that, that's fine, but leave a space between the word and your period. Okay, make sure your cursor is at the end of there. Press return twice. Let's check our heading now. Heading says name, date, and period on the right side of your paper. We did that. It says single spaced. Okay, we did that. And it says size 12. Now, let's look at that for a second. The default size for Google Docs is 11 right here, you can see. So let's highlight everything here. Let's change that to size 12 right now. Everything's size 12 now. Okay, so we finished everything on number one, yes? Name, date, period on the right side of the paper, single space, size 12. Perfect. Next, the title, center, bold, underline, and large font, size 18. So I pressed return twice, I'm already down here. The title is centered, and this is called Summer Vacation. Since this formatting right here is what the rest of my whole paper is going to be, I'm going to press return twice right now to get ready for when I'm going to do the, um, the body of my paragraph. And I'm going to click over here. Okay, so now this is in the right place, ready to start the next part. So let's, let's finish this. I'm just going to select the title. I'm going to go to size 18, bold, and underline. Okay, let's double check. Title, it's centered, it's bold, it's underlined, it's size 18, good. Now the next, text, font size 12, we already have that. Times or Cambria, and indent the paragraphs, and not bold. A lot of times people bold it, we don't want to bold the whole paragraph. Okay, so, so far, um, this says Arial. I think that's one of the default settings. You know what? I'll add Arial to the checklist. Arial's fine also. Arial times or Cambria. So I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to press Tab to indent my paragraph. And I'm going to start my paragraph. Now when we get to the end, we're going to continue to type um, because the computer watch Colorado oops I'll leave that there on purpose for a second okay good you notice how when I got to the end of the line the computer just did it for me now most people know that but it's it's kind of funny how many people still press return when they get to the end of a line 
Okay, so I'm going to keep typing here, put the rest of my paragraph in, and let's just double check to see if we got it right. Let's look at the checklist again. Text, size 12. Is it size 12? Yeah, right there, size 12. Um, I'm going to put this Arial in here too. There, Arial Times or Cambria. Okay, because that's a good one. Did I indent my paragraph? Yes, and it's not bold. Okay, perfect. So I'm good. Next, I'm going to make sure everything is double spaced. I'm a number four here, double space. Okay, so I'm just going to highlight everything. Oop, except that I don't need to highlight the title. And up here, you see the little arrows, it says line spacing. I'm just going to click there and double space. Double space is typically what your teachers want you to use. Okay, for a final draft. All right. So double space, picture, small and placed in the text so the words go around it. Okay, so let's put a small picture in here. I'm going to click kind of where I want my picture to go, right there. I'm going to go up to insert an image. Okay, and if you already have one on your desktop, you can upload it, click upload, or you can just drag it to this space, or you can go over here and do a search on Google. I'm going to just type in... Um, tent camping and look at that there's a beautiful tent in a woods I'm gonna click on this one I like this one okay I'm gonna click select and it's gonna put my picture in right there okay now this is big I don't want it this big I want it much smaller now the handles on the corners and on the edges are how you drag things use the corner handles to resize your image because it keeps everything in perspective if you drag it from the side it makes it look yucky or you drag it from the top or bottom it makes it look all squished and weird we don't want to do that so resize from the corners always for my class, I want your picture kind of small like this one is. And you notice it leaves a big gap there, so I'm going to click on Wrap Text. Okay, now the text goes around it. Now I can move this a little bit around, maybe even just a teeny bit smaller. The main purpose of this particular assignment is the paragraph. It's the writing, not the picture. I want the picture to be small and the text to go around it. Picture, small and placed in the text so the words go around it. Good, we did that. Spell check, any words with red lines under them should be checked for spelling errors. Okay, now I left this word in here on purpose. It should be and, and I, I typed it really fast and I did it wrong. You notice there's a red line there. If I click on it, it'll ask me. The computer's pretty nice, pretty smart. It says, hey, did you mean and? And I'm going to say yeah, so I click on and and it fixes it for me. Okay, so right now I'm pretty good. My last thing I have for my class is one page. Now, you know, sometimes obviously there's going to be assignments that are more than one page, but typically for my class, uh, you're just writing a paragraph or so or answering a few questions. And especially if you're printing it out, um, I really like it to be on one page. It's, it just saves paper, it's easier. And oftentimes, if you're writing more than one page, it means you're just writing, you're just talking and talking and talking instead of getting specifically to the point you want to make. So it, you should be able to do my assignments on one page if you're specific and precise and write what you need and what you want.